In this video, I'll show you how to connect a USB drive, a pen drive to your Hisense TV so you can watch your own movies on your television. So let's get started. It's very easy. First thing you need to know is that the USB stick needs to be formatted in FAT32 to work on your Hisense TV. If you have an Android Hisense TV, then you can simply plug the pen drive into the TV, select the gear icon on the top right corner, then select device preference, select storage, select the pen drive name, and then simply select erase and format as device storage, and it will be formatted automatically. You can also do the same thing on your PC. If you connect the USB drive, then select and right click on your pen drive. Then in this menu, select format. And then the only thing you need to change is to make sure that in file system FAT32 is selected. If it's not, simply click on it and select it from the list. Then after that, you're going to click on start and then it will give you a message saying that everything will be erased on your um, thumbstick. You need to press OK. It will take a few seconds and you'll be done. Here I have put on the screen all the formats that your Hisense TV can read in case you want to know which kind of movie it's able to actually play. You have the list there, the photos needs to be JPEG and the music in MP3 to make sure that it's compatible with your TV. Next step is to connect the USB stick in the back of your Hisense TV. It may look like this one. You may have two USB ports, simply plug it in one of them. Then there's multiple ways to do it. If you don't have a smart Hisense TV, you're going to go in media, press OK, and then select your USB pen drive from the menu. All your folders will open and you'll be able to select the specific movie or music that you want to play. If you have a Hisense Roku TV, then you need to go in Roku Media Player. And then once you're in there, you're going to select your USB drive there. It will be there in the list. And then finally, you need to select if you want to watch a movie, audio or pictures, and then you'll have access to all your files. If you have a Hisense Android TV, then you need to go in apps. And in the apps, you should see something called multimedia player or sometimes it's called smart player or MMP. You're going to see something like that. If you don't see anything, just press the plus button that is at the complete right side of your screen and you'll have access to more apps. Sometimes it's even called digital media player. And then you're going to select if it's a video or photo or an audio that you want to play on your Hisense TV. If this didn't work, there's a simple fix. It's to turn off your Hisense TV, then unplug it from the wall socket during five minutes. And during that five minutes, I want you to press on the power button that is located often under the TV or in the back of the TV. Press on that button 30 seconds. Keep it pressed. Then when all it's done, you just need to replug it into the wall and try again. Most of the time, this simple trick can fix many problems. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful. If so, please leave a comment down below. It's very helpful for my channel and also leave a like. Thanks, and I will see you in the next one.